Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all, and today we're taking a very close look at Summer Shell and Summer Cat Seath, I guess. Both will be on a prize showcase banner, which means we start at a base rate with 4% and both are not limited, so better think twice before you summon on the banner. I have been thinking for days about that, and I personally still don't know if I will summon, but Shell is just so beautiful, I really want her. Anyway, before we start with the video itself, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you end up enjoying the video. Now let's start. With her summer version, Shell gets her third playable unit in under a year since her original unit got released in the story. In her bikini, Chell is a light wand which is very focused on enabling flash burn for the entire team. Before we take a look at her skills though, let's take a look at her first ability because it's going to be a topic in the skills themselves. Her first ability, Stunning Summer Cyan, is not just absolutely correct with its naming, but it also gives Chell a special gauge. The Ravishing Radiance Gauge has the following effect. If one bar is filled, the chances of inflicting flash burn increase by 30%. With two bars, it increases the chances by 50% and her first skill deals 100% more damage. If you have three bars, well, then your movement slows down, that's it. This ability also gives her first skill a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. When Chell shapeshifts, she will always transform into Summer Cat Thief and its dragon skill will deal damage of an unknown amount right now and increases the chance of inflicting flash burn by 50% for the remainder of the entire fight. That is pretty nice. Her first skill, Soul Estivo, deals one hit of 2751% damage, inflicts flash burn and lowers the enemy's flash burn resistance by 20% for 30 seconds. It also fills one bar of the Ravishing Radiance Gauge. Zolo Estivo is her shareable skill by the way. It has a pretty high cost, but I feel like it still might be really nice on other flash burn enabling units, simply because it also deals quite a lot of damage. Estate Brillante, Summer Chell's second skill, restores HP with a potency of 40. It fills the Dragon Gauge and it resets her Ravishing Radiance Gauge. So basically you want to save this skill for when her bar is filled for the third time so you can reset it right away so you're not being slow, at least in theory. Oh and another small note, Dragon Gauge fill rate increasing abilities do not work on this skill. As a wand, Shell has the standard co-ability for that weapon type, which increases skill damage by 15%. Her chain co ability gives an 8% shadow res buff whenever flash burn is successfully inflicted upon an enemy for 15 seconds. Summer Shell is a curse res unit and her third ability increases the duration of flash burn by 30% when her HP are at 70% or above. If you've been watching my videos for a while then you know how much I love inflicting stuff on the enemy and the summer units this year have been all about that. Summer Alex for Scorch Rent, Summer Leonidas with Shadow Blight and now Summer Shell with Flash Burn. So I personally absolutely love Chell's kit. It seems like she can deal some heavy damage too, but it comes with the price of having to use her skills in the right order or you will slow down in movement. In co-op, she's going to be an amazing enabler for flash burn punisher setups and since her flash burn also can last longer than normal, it's automatically more team DPS. I think she is absolutely a solid unit, but she is not limited. So there's no rush to get her, you'll always be able to get spooked by her, but also don't count on it. I personally still don't have Summer Varica because she hates me. Speaking of hate, I hate cats as much as I hate pizza. Not at all, because I love them. Summer Cat Sif looks fluffy and I wanna pet it. <sighs> anyway, Cat Sif's dragon skill Prankster's Pleasure deals one hit of 1750% damage and inflicts flash burn. It also grants the entire team a team defense amp with a max level of 2. Its abilities increase strength by 50% and fill up the skill gauges of the unit it's equipped on by 100% at the start of the fight. It also increases damage against flash burned enemies by 25% whenever the unit has a team defense amp. It's kinda weird to make it so complicated, but alright I guess. If you have it equipped on someone like Summer Shell, I guess that's not really going to be a problem in the end. Summer Cat Sif seems, at first glance, like a dragon that you don't really need that much. I would have preferred if it would have been a skill damage dragon, but I guess we can't have nice things in the light element and Arsene will continue to be the best light skill dragon, even though it's of the shadow element. 
Ketsev is going to be pretty good on some Rochelle though, I would wager. But overall, it feels like there are straight up better options in the light element, but keep in mind, that doesn't mean Summer Ketsif is a bad dragon. It's just very specific in what it can do. Overall, I would say this banner could be skipped if you're not interested in affliction stuff. But who cares about that? We want to summon because Chell is such a cute waifu with some big babas. So yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you summon. Heck, like I said, I might even summon. I'm still undecided. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content from yours truly. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this banner and if you're going to summon on it. Check out my social links in the description to follow me on Twitter and join our Discord. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!